Hey, this is Mass X with a new My Hero Academia, the strongest hero video. And we are one week out from the release of Nejere. And I wanted to circle back and talk about her now that we've had about a week to mess around with her. See if she's still the unit that we all thought was pretty darn OP out of the gate. So, let's first off, let's talk about where she shines. Well, there is no doubt about it, and I've put it in the background. In Warzone Co-op, she is an absolute beast. Uh, I, I can't say enough good things. I mean, she's tearing up there with All Might and Endeavor, without a doubt. Um, the damage that she can do. If you set her up just properly, she just is a beast. I mean, I have had her with my All Might, who is, my All Might is my strongest character. He's ridiculously high at this point. And I'm having matches where she's out doing damage on him because of that first initial blast she does. She goes up in the air, pulls back, and it is just, if it hits, it hits hard and can take a team back. She has been in probably the best addition to my Warzone team in quite some time. Probably since World Hero Mission. I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head that has made such an impact. I mean, she's just a beast. What can I say? So in that aspect of the game, A+. OP as hell. Highly recommend her for that. Where else does she shine? Well, before we go on to another section, let me just talk about how I have her set up and what I have found that seems to be working really well. Now, of course, if you if you can get her passive cards, do it. Even if it's just one of each, they're gonna help her out a lot. What I, the mixture I've been using in the other two passive slots, though, is Head of Humorous seems to work really well with her as well as Cold Shot. Basically what I did was, I, I see so many similarities with Hawks as with Nezure, that I kind of followed the same setup I used for Hawks because I knew it worked with him. They, they perform very similarly. So if you have a Hawks setup you like, try it with her because you'll see a lot of closeness between the two of them, at least for purposes of this game. In the active slot, I just stuck with Brilliant Debut, but I am using Intense Flame Blast. I, I, I like that one a lot with her. You know, uh, there's other ones you, you could use, and you know, active cards are a little easier. But those two have been really solid with her, especially um, using the intense flame blast. I, I find that works really well with her. You know, sometimes I, I like that card with characters and sometimes I just don't feel it, it's the right fit. With her, I, I feel like it is the right fit. You know, and, and there's lots of other options. I'm sure game over would be great with her, but you know, let's be honest. Uh, I, I, I have other characters with my game over that I'd rather use it on at this point in time. So I'm not pulling that off. So I'm looking at something that I can use with what I have available or what I can steal from other characters knowing that I'm going to be using her in place of them. But all in all, I, I got to say I'm, I'm pretty happy with that setup. And that setup's been what I've been using on arena type portions of the game. That includes not only uh, Arena, but also Apex Showdown. I, I felt those worked really well with her in Apex Showdown, so I was happy with that. But let's go on and talk about Arena for a second. Arena is probably the place where she shines also. I'm not the best Arena player. You know, on a good day, I do really well, and on a bad day, I stink it up. But the more I play with her, the more I find I'm really liking her. The pushback, she's a good counter to most characters. She does well. I gotta say, um, and she's fun. If you're, a, if you're a main arena player and that's where your focus is on the game, I highly recommend her trying her out before she goes 
because I think you'll like her. Um, is she perfect? No. But is she fun to play and does she do well? Yes. And can she counter many characters? Without a doubt. So I, I give her an arena, I give her an A. She's not the best. I think that, I, I mean, I think there's character, at least characters I enjoy playing more. I really th love doing using all three MHM characters. I, I just love them in arena. I think they're fun to play. I know other people have other preferences, but as a whole, she's a solid arena character. As for all other types of gameplay for the most part, like co-op, agency assessment, team up, she's done well. Is she gonna do the most damage? No. Is she gonna be a way above average? Yes. She's strong, she is held up. I've run her on single runs on level 22 and 24 on level 70 agency assessment. She's not the quickest, but she'll get through it and she won't die. And she does a heck of a ton of damage. And if you team her up it, or you have a few good partners, you're gonna do pretty darn well and she's gonna clock in on that mid to high range. So I, I gotta say, she's she's a solid character in those types, the joint operations, mainly the agency assessments what I really look at, and team up. And in team up, she was great. I give her a, an A in team up. I give her an A in agency assessment. So really looking at her great across the board, she's really an A character. She She's top tier. I think you're missing out if you don't go for this character, or at least try to grab her. She's probably one of the best characters we've had in a while. All the way around, she's just a great, well-rounded character. So I highly recommend getting her. Please, as always, like and subscribe if you can. Have a great week.